Hi everyone, welcome. So today we'll discuss about Git and GitHub, one of the trending tool that every developer must have the knowledge. So before going to this Git and GitHub, first of all, you must know what is software, because many employees who are working in IT industry all are software engineers. So what is software means? Software is nothing but collection of programs. So why to develop these software applications to automate the organizations? So different types of applications that are available are in the IT industry, desktop applications, web applications, mobile applications, different types of applications that are available. Desktop applications are nothing but the applications that we install on single machine. Those are called as desktop applications. Desktop applications can be developed by using programming languages like C, C++, Java, C Sharp, .NET. These all languages. Example, Notepad, Calculator. MS Office, VLC Media Player, Windows Media Player, these all are the examples of desktop applications. Web applications are nothing but the applications that we access via browser and internet. That type of applications are called as web applications. Is it clear? Web applications can be developed by using full stack Java, full stack .NET, full stack Python, mean stack, modern stack and maven stack. Example, banking applications, e-commerce applications, railways, education, entertainment, these all are different types of applications in day to day life we will try to access now through browser. Whatever the applications that we access through browser, those type of applications are called as web applications. Coming to mobile apps, the apps that we download from play store, those all comes under mobile apps. We can develop the mobile apps by using Android, iOS, Xamarin Forms, React Native etc. Is it clear? Example, phone pay, Google pay, WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, these all comes under mobile applications. So, in IT industry, different domains are available in our real world like banking domain, education domain, e-commerce domain, railways, restaurants, healthcare, travels, government websites, real estate, uh, ticket booking, entertainment, social networking, different domains are available in the IT industry. So, who will develop these applications? So, what is the software industry today? Today, software is everywhere in the form of websites, in the form of apps, in the form of AI, in the form of games. Teams around the world work the code together actually. Did you understood? So, code is constantly changing, adding features, fixing bugs, improving performance. So, before entering into the world of Git and GitHub, first of all, you must know what are the different roles that are available in IT industry. So, different people will be working in IT industry, developers, designers, testers, data analyst, business analyst, data scientist, is it clear, uh, test engineer. So, multiple R&D team, lot of people will work in the IT industry. A single person cannot develop the project. A teamwork is required. So, if you want to develop any type of applications like mobile applications or desktop applications or web applications, multiple uh, roles will be there. Here you can see the sales and marketing team will be there, customer support team will be there, data analyst will be there, data scientist will be there, designers will be there, business analyst will be there, developer will be there, tester will be there. So, lot of people will involving in developing the project. So, all the uh, members of the IT industry, they will work in a particular team. Is it clear everyone? So, behind the application, first of all, we must know who will develop the application, who will test the application, who will deliver the application. Uh, there are different types of teams will be there. Development team will be there and deployment team will be there. So, developer will work as in development team. Is it clear? He must have the knowledge on Java, .NET, Python. ReactJS, Angular, MainStack, MarinStack, etc. And again, tester will be there. Tester also must have some knowledge on testing skills like manual testing, automation testing, etc. And the data scientist will be there. He will predict the future. Data analyst will be there. He will analyze the present. Data engineer will be there. So, a lot of roles will be there in IT industry. So, who, uh, who, who will develop the application? Who will test the application? Who will deliver the application? But before going to the uh, git and github you must have the knowledge on three main characters one is developer other one is tester another one is end user so what a developer will do developer will develop the applications and uh, developer must have coding skills he must have the knowledge on coding like java dot net python angular react js javascript he must have the knowledge on the coding what a tester will do tester will test the applications tester must have coding skills plus 
testing tool skills also require like manual testing automation testing like selenium uh, playwright like a lot of tools are there in testing also is it clear and uh, coming to end user what an end user will do end user will use the applications end user must have the basic knowledge on mobile as well as on laptop so end user must know how to install the apps from play store how to use that particular apps like swiggy ola rapido uber etc so these are the main pillars in it industry developer tester and user apart from this you must uh, uh, there are some other main pillars are there like data analyst data engineer data scientist these are also the main pillars is it clear so lot of members will work in the it industry but all the main goal of all the employees are to develop a successful software product to deliver the successful software product so that it must work perfectly efficiently when the product is delivered to the end user are you following everyone so now the actual game will start here is it clear so how these all what a developer will do developer will write the code how these all are integrate with each other with a common repository that is called as github github is a common repo simple manner i will explain for example in your computer you have different drives are there c drive d drive e drive if you try to save any files or any songs or any movies in your laptop only you can watch the movie only you can listen the song only you can access the files but if you want to make everyone to access that particular uh, songs or movies means we need to keep these songs or movies on a common uh, repository or a common place where everyone can access that is called a server in real time generally if you keep any song in server everyone can access that one similarly in software industry developers will be there testers will be there uh, data analyst will be there data scientist will be there so these all people are working for a primary goal that is to maintain that particular code so developer will write the code so one pr one person cannot develop the complete project right it is a team work lot of people will be involving in developing that particular project so where this code is uh, uh, kept if the code is kept in a common repository multiple users can connect to that particular repository and access that particular code modify that particular code uh, they will try to do the modifications and again save the changes so that common repository is called as github so github is a cloud repository where we need to maintain the code and uh, another one this is developer one developer two tester one tester two multiple developers will uh, connect to this particular github repository they will try to uh, clone the code modify the code and whatever the modifications they have done uh, they will try to update to that particular github so first of all you must not confuse about github and git client so github is a cloud based platform that hosts the git repositories it is like a central hub where developers store their code share their code and collaborate on the code did you understood so for example you can see github is a common server repository where the application related code is available in the github so developers must install the git client for example 10 developers are working on the same project 10 developers means 10 laptops so every developer must install what git client so what is the use of git client by using git client we can connect to that particular github and we can clone the code we can do the modifications and we can again uh, uh, commit the code save the changes and again we need to push that particular modified code to the github repository so that the high level managements like team leaders or project managers they will directly connect to the github and they will do different types of operations like ci cd integrations and all the other stuff are you following everyone my dear friends so yeah that's what i'm telling here both developers and team leaders can log into the github there is no restriction based on the role it depends on what each person needs to do developers mostly what they will do they will use the github to clone the repositories what is a repository repository is a separate folder that is created on the github server so that multiple whatever the code that was available in that repository that code is shared to all the developers how the developers can collect the code and they can modify the code means by installing git client did you understood everyone so that is how you can work with github and git client are you following and here there are three types of users will be there who can use this github one is admins admins can manage the settings and permissions and collaborators they can push the code and manage the issues collaborators means developers and viewers can only read the code and comment the code 
So there are three types of users who are connecting to this GitHub. Are you following? So let us assume, if you watch this diagram, you can see, let us assume this is a GitHub repository. In this repository, what will be there means code will be there. And here developer 1 will be there, developer 2 will be there, multiple developers will be there. Every developer will have their own laptops. So every developer must download what? Git client. And they will try to connect to this particular Git repository via this particular Git client. Internet connection is mandatory. Is it clear? If you do any modifications, you have to commit the code. And again, you have to push the changes. This all will try to explain clearly in the coming videos. How to work with Git commands, what is push, what is pull, what is commit, what is git init, what is git add. All this stuff I will try to explain clearly step by step. Don't worry for that. So here, just, the, just here, what is the something like, first of all, we need to create a project, uh, create a folder in your project, and then we need to connect to the GitHub, and then we need to make the changes, and then we need to share the changes, and then we need to collaborate, and then we need to review the history. This is the main uh, points here. So what are the steps to follow to work with GitHub and Git? Step number one, first you need to create a Gmail account. If you want to work with GitHub, you need to install the softwares. Step number one, always create a separate Gmail account. Nowadays, you can ask me, sir, only developers will use Git to GitHub or students. I am a student or a B.Tech final year student. So now I am trying to apply for a job. So I need to prepare my resume. Today in 2025, it is a fashion. In olden days, you need to share your resume directly. But nowadays, as a freshers or a B.Tech students or freshers or any developers, you have to create your resume in your GitHub repository and you need to give that GitHub link. Did you understand? You need to share that GitHub link in your to the interviewer panel. So they will like uh, your profile rating also will be improved. And in your college days, if you do any projects, sample projects or sample ideas or any documents also, you can post in the GitHub record, uh, repository. Lot of people are getting high packages just by maintaining that GitHub repository. Many people are thinking the in olden days, 10 years back, the IT industry is different. Now the IT industry is different. 10 years back, companies, uh, you no need to show your talent to the companies. Companies will visit your colleges and they'll conduct some uh, on-campus drives or off-campus drives. They'll focus your arithmetic reasoning skills, logical thinking, problem solving skills, and they will hire you. And based on that, they will give you training actually. They, they used to give training for 6 months or 7 months in the campus like Infosys where they have big campus like that. They used to give the trainings and they, they will decide which technology suits for the fresher. But in 2025, the story is totally changed. Companies don't have patience. Companies don't have time to give the trainings. They are looking for skilled developers. So you have to prove yourself. So how to prove yourself means instead of directly telling the resume, I have done some mini project in my third year or final year project in my final year, not like that. Any student, not only CSC student, you are from uh, CSC background, IT background, AML background or if you are from cyber security background, IOT background or EC, EEE, mechanical, civil, everyone, every B.Tech final year students, what you can do means you must have a GitHub account. First create a Gmail account. And then a separate Gmail account. Don't use the existing Gmail account. Because your existing Gmail account will have 15 GB maximum limit. More than that content you cannot store. So always professional email ID you can create. First you need to create the Gmail account. And then you need to create the GitHub account. How to create these all the steps I will tell you in the next video. And install the Git client. You need to manually install the Git client in your machine. Sir, who wants to install means... Generally, if you are having a GitHub account, no need of Git client. But generally, in real time, multiple developers will work on the same project. No? So, all developers must connect to the same repository. So, GitHub repository and all the developers must install what? Git client. So, step number one, create a Gmail account. Step number two, create the GitHub account. Step number three, install the Git client. Step number four, now this Git client must connect to that particular GitHub repository. So you need to connect Git client to GitHub. For that, you need to write some commands like git space config space hyphen hyphen global space user dot name, your username and your email ID. Because at the time of creating the GitHub account only, you need to create the username as well as 
your github account is linked with your gmail uh, email id also so these are the steps we need to follow to work with github and git client did you understood so don't confuse github is a server server is nothing but the location where all the files are available and that files can be accessible by all the developers or all the testers or all the data analyst if you are a data analyst also you will create lot of dashboards and the dashboards and everything you need to store in the github repository so git clients what they will do they will try to connect to that particular git repository collect the code and they will do the modification in their local machine is it clear your code is available in remote connect to that remote server collect uh, clone the code and copy the code in your local machine and you do some modifications in your local machine whatever the modifications you have done after completing of this particular modifications again you have to save the changes that is commit and then you need to push the code to the git repo so that uh, uh, any modifications that you have uh, doing uh, will be maintained in the git repo in the form of versions so git git is a version control system actually different uh, project tracking whatever you do the changes and everything will be monitored and maintained are you following everyone so that is how in this video we have discussed about what is git and what is github github is a repository cloud repository is it clear git is a client so every developer must install the git client and by this git client we'll try to connect to the git repo server so please try to like share and subscribe and please comment in your chat box for more videos is it clear if you create the git account means please share your git url also in the comment box thank you catch you later in the next video